So here's an update on the flight simulator. Uh, one of the things I figured out when if you're building a flight simulator is if you don't have a 3D printer, you're kind of doing it wrong. So to that end, um, I've added 3D printing to the list of my capabilities and boy has it changed the game for me. Um, this is the fuel level gauges uh, with servos mounted and some needles that I 3D printed. So we have that and it was pretty easy then to modify it and make oil pressure and oil temperature gauge. Uh, trim wheel, um, 3D printed with like a bushing built into there um, and a mounting bracket that has to still get mounted onto the uh, dash panel. Um, mix, uh, or not mix, uh, yeah, mixture and uh, throttle knob. So those are look really nice, a whole lot better than trying to carve them out of a piece of wood. And a piece that I just finished up yesterday uh, on the initial design, I might have to refine this a little bit, um, is the starter switch. And uh, I've got a five position switch in the back uh, with a slight little cam on there and a spring inside there. So as you click the switch, uh, you can get it to click over to, you know, uh, left, right, both. And then when you click it into the start, that spring that's inside there then returns it uh, back to the both position. I made it refining this a little bit and making the case a little bit better, but uh, it also has a removable key. So uh, you can take the key out of here uh, when you park your plane. It won't even come out right now, but it does come out if I had two hands, I'm not holding my phone. Um, but I'll go ahead and uh, post another update once I get kind of all this mounted and, and working. Um, I've got some other really cool things that I've been working them on that I'll follow up with another video uh, later, some cool switches and, uh, and encoders and stuff like that. Thanks for all the likes.